Hey, how's it going? My name is Dom and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you one of the easiest ways to download fonts. Now, we're going to be using a website called Google Fonts and it's going to be perfect for web developers, graphic designers or really anyone who wants to download a font. But first, I want to quickly show you the frequently asked questions for Google Fonts and we have two main things here. Number one, all of these fonts are open source and without cost. And number two, you can use them commercially subject to licensing. So this here is gonna be amazing for you guys. And there are many different fonts to choose from. Now, real quick, if you are indeed a web developer, I've got a video dedicated to using this on websites. So I'll leave that in the top right corner. I encourage you to, of course, watch that one instead but if you just want to download fonts stick around i'm going to show you how to do it so i'm on google fonts here i'll leave this linked down below so you can of course uh you know browse it as i do and we're going to begin in the top left corner where it says categories so clicking on categories you can filter the fonts down to a different uh you know to a, a specific style i'm going to say here i only want to list sans serif fonts so i'll uncheck everything else and now we are only seeing those nice sans serif fonts. Now, you've also got the number of styles. So styles refers to the variations of a font. For example, you've got normal, you've got italic, you've got bold, you've got bold italic, you might have narrow, and so on. So this here refers to the complexity. How many variations or styles does a font family have? So I'll check this box here and you probably want to do about four plus because if you do four plus, it means you're almost guaranteed to get at least a bold and an italic. Okay, in most cases, right? So I'll make that uh, four plus and now we can start browsing. So you can scroll down here, choose your font. You can also increase the size if you wish. Um, I'll just reset that back to 40. Um, you can also choose to type a sentence. For example, uh, hello, my name is Dom. Now, this here is perfect if you're trying to design a logo and you need to see what your brand looks like. For example, in my case, I can say decode, right? I can see all the variations like that. Um, but essentially here, you just wanna go through here and choose your font. Now, once you have chosen a font, for example, I'll choose here uh, the font called uh, Railway. We are now taken to the main page for that font. Now, if you just wanna download it, you click the top right corner, download family, just like that. It's gonna download to your PC or your Mac, whatever you're using. Upon clicking on that zip folder, you're going to see all of the fonts in your Explorer view, just like this, right? You simply then need to extract the fonts, then you can right click and install, and you're done, okay? And that right there is how to download and use those fonts. But if you want to get more specific, you can see here, You've got things like a type tester on this page. You can choose different uh, sizing. You can type your own text here, add different styles and so on. You're also able to view the glyphs if you're interested. Me personally, I'm no font professional, so I'm not sure what all this means here, but I'm sure if you do know, then it can be helpful to you. You've also got your licensing and about, so a little description, the history of the font and so on as well, of course, the usage, which is actually quite interesting, and the licensing, all right? Now, just quickly, if you are a web developer, you may wish to instead choose particular font styles that you want. For example, if I know I'm gonna be using the regular 400, I can select that just like that. I also might know I'm using the bold 700. I'll select that one right there. So now, I've only chosen two styles and this right here is going to save traffic on the website because now we only select the fonts that we need, reducing the size of the, uh, you know, uh, include in the CSS, if that makes sense, right? So if you're a developer, just make sure you choose the fonts that you need. In the top right corner, you're going to see here your uh, chosen styles and you've got a link uh, tag right here for the HTML 
You simply copy that, put it in your head of the HTML page, then in the CSS, you can copy this here to use that font. But for the most part, like I said earlier, if you just want to download them, bottom right corner, download all, and you are good to go. So that right there is how to use Google Fonts to download fonts. Hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.